What's up everybody? Today we're going to be ripping a box of 1987 Topps Baseball. This box came from the Baseball Card Exchange. Of course we're looking for Bonds, McGuire, Conseco, Mattingly, uh, Nolan Ryan. Those are the cards that I specifically collect. So I'm very excited about this junk wax box. Um, this was the, the set growing up as a kid that I absolutely, uh, this was my favorite set. So I continue to collect it even to today. We'll check out our first pack. Gum looks okay, a little spotty there, but all right. <clears throat> We yeah, have Dave Schmidt. Who's a bit, there's a Jose Canseco right off the bat. First pack. Not bad at all. Pretty good Jose Canseco. Now uh, we got some wax stain on the back of this card. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, Suter, Russell, Heath, Jones. There's Corey Snyder, who we used to just try and find back in the day. He was one of those players that everyone thought was going to be something special. Yeah, nothing in that pack. <clears throat> but that powder from the gum on my hands, that preservative, obviously does the job. That gum is crispy. So if you had a favorite wax, junk wax era box or set that you'd like to collect, put it down in the comments. And again, if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so. It helps my channel out greatly. I'm still new to this, so it gives me a little more confidence. Roy Lee Jackson. Oh, that's a card I haven't seen in a while. There's Will the Thrill. One of the sweetest swings in baseball besides Ken Griffey Jr. and Kevin Bass. Mark Gubisa. So, third pack in. Jose Canseco, or Will Clark. Let's see what we get out of here. <clears throat> Joel Skinner. Rob Deere. Doug DeSensei. There's a Hall of Famer, Burt Blylevin. Oh, Hall of Famer out of there. At least one. Plan on hand collating another set of the 87 tops. You know, if the gum wasn't so crispy, it might be okay, but man, I tried a piece a while back and about broke my teeth. Frank Pastor, Rick Roden. Harold Reynolds, Don Mattingly All-Star. I'm a Don Mattingly fan, Donnie Baseball. This card is turned on backwards. You'd think it would be an insert nowadays, but it's not. It's just turned around. Yeah, another Gullick's in there. Maybe I'll start a collection of the, the gum at some point. So this pack is all turned around. <clears throat> yeah, Dave Winfield, Minnesota man. Originally from Minneapolis. Ryan Sandberg. Throw him up on the block. Backwards cards are Bruce Benedict. Joel Cowley, Terry Pendleton. Lee Lacey, Gidgery, Ferd, and Ron Darling. You can still smell the gum res residue off of these cards. It reminds me of the old Star Wars packs from the uh, late 70s. That brought back a childhood memory. All right, so we have Eric Davis. He was another one back in the day. We'll throw him up there on the should-have-beens. 
as a kid, I was I always thought that car was a win for me. There's Randy Bush. What do you think about today's cards? Do you think that it's another junk wax era with so many different sets, so many different players, base sets, inserts? It's virtually almost impossible to collect. Um, unlike well, how we did back in the uh, in the eighties and uh, early nineties, that I mean, the base card was the card, not so much anymore. There's B.J. Serhoff, Todd Worrell, a couple of rookies in this pack, Harold Reynolds. Some of these cards just kind of sticking together. Jose Rio, Len Davis, got a couple of Astros there. Be nice to pull a Nolan Ryan out of here. All right. These are almost like lottery tickets. You just don't know what you're going to get. And that's kind of the draw for me. It's kind of that rush of who's going to be in that pack. Is it going to be a superstar? Is it going to be a card? Pink Incobelia was another guy we used to look for back in the day. There's a Ricky Henderson. We'll throw him in front of Will the Thrill. There's a Kirby Puckett from my Minnesota Twins. Ooh, we got a checklist with a wax stain on it. All right. We got Sparky Anderson. Andreas Thomas, he was another one we thought might have been one to chase. Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Rick Depps, Dale Murphy. We'll throw Dale up on the... We'll throw him up in front of Manningly. And some of these guys you just never heard of ever again. We got a Kirby Puckett All Star. Another Andres Thomas, as we just got him. Bo Jackson. Ding, 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 ding. Got one. Definitely one I may. There's Mike Schmidt. May send up to PSA if it's good enough. I do send a lot of my wax, junk wax era cards to PSA. I've got some that are going to be coming back here pretty soon. They're going to be graded. Uh, some 83 tops. So I'll be doing a, survive, a surprise reveal once those come in. Let's see. Greg Harris. Paul Zavella. Dave Rigetti. Randy Myers. Was I the blue? Well, he played for a lot of years. 1969 was Vita Blue's rookie year. I'm half tempted to try some of this gum. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't sound, some of them don't sound too crispy. Jesse Roscoe, Gary Carter All-Star. There's a Juan Bonilla, huh? And we had Bobby Bonilla, Juan Bonilla. There's a Wade Boggs All-Star with wax stain on the back. Kel Daniels was another one. We'll put him over here on the chase. with Somebody who we used to chase in the 80s. This is out of this 87 top set. If there's somebody that you chased out of this set, let me know. Bobby Thigpen, Robin Yount, Steve Farr, George Bell, Al Newman, who eventually made it over to the Twins. Another Kevin Bass. Let's see if we can't pull a McGuire out of here, a Mattingly. We need a Bonds. We need a Bonds to make me feel good about buying this box for what I paid for it. Wasn't terribly expensive, but there's Roger Clemens. 
R.J. Reynolds, Brent Smith, Crispy Gum, who uh, every time I see an A's logo, I always hope it's McGuire or Canseco. Ken Herbeck, that's a cool pitcher. Danny Tartable, he was another one. We used to chase. No Bip Roberts. Not sure if that's a nickname or his real name. If you know, comment down below. It'd be nice to get some information on Bip Roberts, if that was his name. Kind of a random fact in the future. Lee Mazzelli, Storm Davis, Dave Smith, Tom Seaver, Sean and Dunstan. Boy, kind of hitting a drought here. Besides the Bo Jackson and the Jose. Got to get another Bo Jackson out of here. That would be nice. Get a Bonds. Oh, almost bumped Jose up there. Up the stage there. Oh, and there we go. Barry Bonds. Boom. Looks like a little off from top to bottom, but we will take it. Nice. Makes me feel good about this box. John Henry Johnson. Some damage on the card there. You can see it on his face. Daryl Motley and another turnaround card. I don't remember having turnaround cards in other boxes, so that's kind of odd. This was a baseball card exchange box, so it should be tamper-free. Of course, I'm sure quality control when they were packing these wasn't always the best. And Donnie Hill, Carlton Fisk, Babuita. Andy Allenson. I thought I thought Andy Allenson was gonna be somebody. Boy, did he disappoint. Junk wax era. I think after 1987, this was the last of the for me the truly the sets I wanted to collect. The 88 tops, 89 tops just looked so cheap, and just the cards just felt different. I just wasn't a fan. I still don't collect those cards unless it's a, a player from my PC. There's Eddie Murray and Dave Magadan. Phil Necro. Dwight Gooden. I haven't seen a Wade Boggs yet or a Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly is my favorite player to collect as far as players from the Junk Wax era. Mike Greenwell, he was another one. We'll throw him up with Cal Daniels. We thought he was gonna be something special. Vaughn Hayes, Mike Schmidt again. A couple of Mike Schmidts out of this box. So if you're a Phillies fan, this would be a great box. Kind of about halfway through the box at this point. Wally Joyner, we'll throw him up with ones that we were trying to chase back in 1987. Mike Pagliario, eventually went to the Twins. Maybe he was part of the 91 World Series team. Beat the Braves in seven. What a great series that was. Devon White, we'll throw him up. He was one we were trying to chase. Rob Deere, Doug DeSensei once again. Kind of see the pattern with their with their cut. Start to see the same, same guys in the same pattern. Cut from the sheet. So I'm really hoping we pull another bonds out of here. 
I bought a couple of uh, cello packs at a flea market and I pulled a Barry Bonds 87 tops out of there. That was pretty cool. Too bad he wasn't on the front or the back. I obviously wouldn't have got it for the price that I did. Would have sent that right to PSA. Boy, that gum is stuck. There we go. I wonder if there's other purposes for that gum you could use. If you could use it to patch a wall if you, if you chew it. There we go. Juan Samuel, nothing out of there. And I am pretty happy. I did get a bond, did get a Conseco out of this pack. There's another Dale Murphy on the back. Hopefully there's no wax stain on that one. Fernando Valenzuela, Barry Larkin. We'll throw him up. He was the one we were chasing. John Candelaria, Bill Gullickson. Here we go. Andre Dawson, the Hawk again. Rafael Ramirez, Ricky Wright. Speaking of Rickies and Ricks, haven't seen Ricky Henderson yet. And of course, Dale Murphy. Rudy Law. Well, that was a bust of a pack there. So you get uh, no Hall of Famers, no decent players. I wonder if anybody's ever sent in a piece of gum to PSA. Jeez. Johnny Ray, Tommy John, Willie Wilson, Bernanski, Cafelia, R.J. Reynolds again, and Reed Nichols. Getting down towards the bottom of this box. Been ripping for almost 20 minutes now. Saw the bow on the back. I was hoping it was Bo Jackson. It was not. Bo Diaz. Don Sutton, Ron Say. Dickie Thong, Bob Horner, Lou Pinella, I guess more Bush. Boy, bad wax stain on Bobby Thompson, or Robbie Thompson. My, my apologies to the Thompson family for mispronouncing his name. Jeez. <laughs> that is crispy. All right. Robbie Thompson, Pete Rose manager card with the wax stain on the back. Pete Rose player and manager that year. Still no McGuire's, Mattingly's, Boggs. That's disappointing. Looks like we've got about, this is about five packs left. Really hoping. Pull another big name off, to, off the list here in his wax box. There's a Nolan Ryan. We'll throw him up. It's one I've been looking for. And that's about it for that pack. We'll take it. We'll take a Nolan Ryan. And Ryan Express. He's another player I PC. I just started PCing his cards this year. So. I got another Mike Schmidt out of this pack. Boy. Dave Parker. La Russa. Marty Barrett.
Another Dwight Gooden on the back. George Bell. Pedrosian. Roger Clemens All-Star. Getting kind of stuck on these last couple of packs. Yeah, two packs to go. Greg Gross, Skedman, Aguayo, Phelps. All right, last pack. Will it contain a Mattingly, McGuire? Here we go, we haven't got yet. Last pack. Let's hope it's a good one. Cal Ripken. Gary Carter. Oh, I thought it was going to be a McGuire. It was not. So out of that wax box... Some of the better cards we got, the Nolan Ryan, the Larkin, Devon White, Joyner, Greenwell, Cal Daniels, Incavilia, Eric Davis, Ryan Sandberg. We did get a Jose. We did get a Barry. We got a Dale and a Don with a wax stain on the back. We'll put Don back in the stack since he's got a wax stain on him. We got a Bo Jackson, Ricky Henderson, and Will Clark. So overall... I'm very happy. Got two of the cards I have been uh, looking for with the Barry Bonds and the Bo Jackson. So I will probably buy another box here in the next week or so and keep ripping 87 tops. I may buy it, pick up a box of 87 Fleer as well. Please check out my other videos. I did rip a box of 87 Donruss, which was a pretty nice box. So until next time, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you then.